Welcome to Electron Online, and our next example is an equation with what we call fractional expressions. And at first it doesn't look like a quadratic equation, but notice, see what happens when we try to solve this. Well, since we have fractions here, we want to get rid of the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator, which means we're going to multiply the left side of the equation by x times x minus 5, and of course we have to multiply the right side equation with x times x minus 5. Now on the right side, since we're multiplying times 0, that just stays 0. But on the left side, we end up with something a little bit different. Notice when we multiply this times this, the x's will cancel out and we're left with 5 times x minus 5. Minus, when we multiply this times this, the x minus 5's cancel out. We end up with 8x times x and then plus 2 times x times x minus 5 equal 0. Now when we multiply this out and get rid of parentheses, you'll notice now we end up with a quadratic equation. So this becomes 5x minus 25 minus 8x squared plus 2x squared minus 10x equal 0. And now combining like terms, we get um, minus 8 plus 2, that's minus 6x squared 5x minus 10x is minus 5x, and minus 25 equal 0. And just to make things look a little bit better, let's multiply both sides by negative 1 to get rid of the negative signs. So we end up with 6x squared plus 5x plus 25 equals 0. So now we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve that. So x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 25, or I could just go ahead and write it like this, it's better, so it'd be 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 6, times c, which is 25. The whole thing divided by 2 times a, which is 2 times 6. All right, simplifying that, we get x equals minus 5 plus or minus the square root of, that would be 25 minus 4 times 25 is 100 times 6 is 600, divided, the whole thing divided by 12, and so x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 575 divided by 12. So it looks like we're going to have an imaginary number here. So continuing on over here, we can say that x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 575 times i, the whole thing divided by 12. All right, now let's see here, 575. We know that 600 can be divided by 25. That means 575 is divisible by 25. That means we can write this as x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 times, uh, looks like 23, times i divided by 12. So we can go ahead and take the square root of 25. So x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus 5 times the square root of 23 i, the whole thing divided by 12, and of course the proper way of writing this would be in the a plus bi format, so x is equal to minus 5 over 12 plus or minus 5 over 12 times the square root of 23 times i. And that's the final answer for this equation. Now we want to make sure that we don't have any violations. We didn't come up with uh, x equals 5 as an answer because that would not be permissible, and x equals 0 that would also not be permissible. So it looks like we have the correct answers, and that's how we solve a problem like that.